Uh, the Director of National Intelligence today put out a statement saying that they believe it was naturally occurring, it was not man-made. Who is that? Who is that that said that? The Office of the Director of National yeah, Intelligence. Yeah, but who in particular? Who was the man that made that statement? It, it was a statement that the ODI... Oh, he would know that, huh? National Intelligence. So we'll see. That I mean, would be your Director of National Intelligence. No, I, no, I, think, I think it's... I mean, you'd have to tell me who specifically, who made the statement. The statement was just put out under the office of okay, the ODI. We'll I mean, I have to see the statement. But, I just haven't but, seen it. But the question I had was, have you seen anything at this point? Because we're looking at that, John, separately from... Correct. But we're looking at exactly where it came from, who it came from, how it happened, separately, and also scientifically. So we're going to be able to find it. And my question is, have you seen anything at this point that gives you a high degree of confidence that the Wuhan Institute of Virology was the origin of this virus. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And I think that the World Health Organization should be ashamed of themselves because they're like the public relations agency for China. And this country pays them almost $500 million a year, and China pays them $38 million a year. And uh, whether it's a lot or more, it doesn't matter. It's still they shouldn't be making excuses when people make horrible mistakes, especially mistakes that are causing hundreds of thousands of people around the world to die. I think the World Health Organization should be ashamed of themselves. Can I get back to what we were talking about just a second ago? Sure. Um, I, I missed the, in the interruption. Did, did you, are you suggesting that maybe you have some evidence that this was not a naturally occurring virus? We're going to see what it is. You're talking about the virus and Correct. where it came from? Yeah, yeah. No, we're going to see where it is. We're going to see where it comes from. And, you know, look, you know every theory. You had the theory from the lab. You had the theory from many different, the bats and the type of bat. And the bat is 40 miles away, so it couldn't have been here and it couldn't have been there. And uh, we have, a, there's a lot of theories. But, yeah, we have people looking at it very, very strongly. Scientific people, intelligence people, and others. And what gives and we're you? We're going to put it all together. I think we're going to have a very good answer eventually. And what gives and you? China a high might, might even tell us. China may tell us. And and what gives you a high degree of confidence that this originated from the Wuhan Institute of Virology? I can't tell you that. I'm not allowed to tell you that. Are Are you insisting, or would you insist on China allowing U.S. investigators? Yeah. Into that lab to make yeah, sure I don't. I don't want to go into that. Lab. We're going to see. So far, I think John has been uh, trying to be, or at least they seem to be trying to be, somewhat transparent with us. But we're going to find out. You'll be learning in the not too distant future. But it's a terrible thing that happened. Whether they made a mistake, or whether it started off as a mistake and then they made another one, or did somebody do something on purpose? Say, hey, you know, I, I don't understand how. Uh, traffic, how people weren't allowed into the rest of China, but they were allowed into the rest of the world. That's a bad, that's a hard question for them to answer. Mr. President, would you consider having the United States not pay its debt obligations to China as punishment for the virus? Well, I can do it differently. I can do the same thing, but even for more money, just by putting on tariffs. So I don't have to do that, you know. Uh, it's, a pro it's approximately a trillion dollars, a little bit more, as I understand, a trillion dollars. But we can do that in a, uh, I think, probably a little bit of a more forthright manner. You start playing those games, and that's tough. You know, we have the dollar to protect. We want to protect the sanctity of the dollar, the importance of the dollar. It's the greatest currency in the history of the world.